Wong Kwan can have it back. It's a nice area and all, but I don't want it. It doesn't fit the Feng Shui. So, all this land is getting burned. There's little reason for me not to, unless I was fast approaching some kind of limit. But I'm pretty sure I'm not. That's if I can burn everything here. Some lands are just so low in development that there's no burning left to be done. And there we go. Mong Kwang is going to hate me beyond belief for all that. But too bad. And now that means lands are uh, less development, so Dang is going to suffer less for this. So let's grant him the lands, the whole shebang of it. Uh, why does it still have to be in reverse alphabetical order? Fix that someday. Uh, what's this? Fimpu? And uh, Punaka? And Nidong. Laza, of course. Good luck converting that one. Dam Shong. And Nachu. And Gyegu. There must be somebody from or around Tibet that's just dying from hearing all this. Ribong. And Degi. And Garze. Oh, and you thank... Well, actually, I was expecting Nephi to pick up on the Feng Shui stuff, but no, no more Emperor. I was talking to some people at uh, work, actually, who correctly identified that it was an inferior Caesar III. Quando. Markam. And Ningchingi. Ah, that's a bigger dang. I like that. I mean, Dang themselves probably not thrilled, but so be it. And that will immensely reduce my overextension. His is still manageable, and I don't have need for reconquest here anymore. Basically, all is pretty well. As I said, I don't really want to take this land as long as I touch Ming like this, and he will just crumble. Then all is well. Hmm... I mean, this land is good for me to take. I mean, it is in my culture group and all. But then, so is all this land when I took it for me. Well, then, the Nepali stuff is too, and I gave that away. Kangra, you were always a Ming tributary, correct? Okay. If you turned on colored wastelands, Dang would look even bigger. That is a pretty good reason to turn them on. And since he owns very much most of them, he would probably get it. I'd consider that next time. How about this fort, though? Keep it up. I'll probably have revolts around here sooner or later. That said, unrest isn't super high. Few, uh, lower separatism because of Glorious being a horde. And maybe it is worth tacking. Hell, I'm drowning in admin, and I'm certainly not getting colonialism at this rate. Uh, we'll make it so. Those points aren't going to do anything else for me. Alright. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Ming will have some problems with that. They may or may not declare war on me. They may or may not join that coalition against me. That's probably something worth considering. But I have all these uh, automats improving relations with people that hate me. Vijayanagar still like me, which is good. Bagalana, I really think I should be annexing them by now. It'll take forever, though. Which is a shame. Tie up one of my valuable diplomats for a long time. Mawa, uh, Malwa, rather, need to die soon. Timmy don't have a lot of aggressive expansion with me. They will when I'm done with them. But for now, no. Question is where to go from here. I'll kind of let my guys get back to the country. Consolidate a bit. We don't make a profit, which isn't good. Okay, so a uh, coalition is forming against me. Hit. 
I wonder who will join it. Malwa cannot, but I guess a lot of Southeast Asians can. But Ayutthaya... Oh, they don't like me. I mean, they just don't like me. I could probably influence their nation or send them a gift to keep them out of it. But there's also the unlikeliness of them even declaring a coalition, regardless who joins. I have truces with a lot of them, and my relationship is growing with a bunch of them too. Okay, improving all these relations with people that hate me. Ayutthaya, though, I really don't want them in here. Can I uh, send them a nice gift? Oh, that's looking expensive. Might be better just to influence the nation. There you go. Keep them positive so they don't join the coalition. Come on, there we go. See? Easy. A bit of good diplomatic actions, and people are kept off your back. Ming have announced me as a rival, which means they're hopefully, hopefully have already gotten rid of that uh, marriage we have. They have, good. <laughs> I need those, need those better navies, man. Got to invest. Take Ming up on that great offer. I would rather not. Hmm. I would love to get this though. That's a, that's a nice thing to have. All right. So what's happening for my beloved country for now? War with Timmy is super tempting. He also has a super million load of allies. I had already forgotten I had allied Hormoz, though. Maybe I should kick them away, but I could call Hormoz in against Timmy. Timmy's friends, though, they are many. We could take him on. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I could take him on. I would look weak in front of these guys, but... What about Malwa? Our truce is still good till 83. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Ming will probably join this coalition. I should probably keep my uh, keep my head above water for a little bit. I wonder if I could just keep Mawar as a nice march. I mean, Mawari ideas are pretty damn good. He would own this big chunk of good land here. I don't want to eat him up. That might be for the better, in fact. Mm, I don't think I really want this land all that much. It's all Gujarati and stuff. Plus, everyone likes Mawar, right? We can keep him around. And they'll get stronger, too. Mm, I'll save that for later. Might want to do it, but not quite yet. So Ming's joining that coalition. I'm not super surprised. But I want to make sure that these other guys don't join it. They hate me, but I should be able to improve relations with them fast enough. Which is all the more reason to have the Automats targeting these outraged countries. Be a true horde and trample those degenerate, settled Timmies. Oh, I will. Also, Netherlands versus Cologne, Switzerland and Würzburg. Not looking so good for them. Gujarat actually found their balls to join the coalition. I'm not surprised. I mean, they hated me. I'm glad uh, Bachman is off the map. They're not even a concern. Malwa, though, I will have to attack as soon as the truce is up, despite their fair few allies. It's alright though, I mean, I just did this to poke Ming and say, you're going down. However, I need to grab uh, Delhi off of Malwa. It's already a claim of mine, hell, it's already a permaclaim of mine, but I can't let Timmy get to it before me. Chagatai won't help you. Hormoz being your friend is a real damn shame. I wonder if I could tell them not to be your friend. Hmm. Gutting. Separate Malwa from the Timmy borders. It's even worse. Their exclaves look at colors way too similar. Yeah, we'll be dealing with that. We have little choice but to deal with that. Uh, 
I don't need to be paying all this money for my armies, so we'll bring that down a touch. I would also like to consolidate my armies a wee touch. Oh, that's right. All this land I took over here was Theravada, right? Good luck converting that stuff. It'll take a wee while. I need a good advisor for it. At least. <laughs> Weak air, as if I care so much about that. This is a bit concerning, though. Horde unity goes down, and it goes down fast. I wonder if I have anything that I can pass that actually increases uh, Horde unity. I forget. I didn't even centralize my power. I took the tribal hierarchy because I knew I'd want that absolutism in the future. But I forget if I have good ways to get Horde unity. You know who has a ton of raisable land, Jake? Ming and Tim Tim. That they do. I'm looking forward to dealing with it. Right, I actually want these guys to have a little bit of cannon just in case they end up in a situation where they can on. But this is the siege stack. This is some weird backup stack that I don't really know what to do with. I'm not scared of a few revolts. That said, I'm about to eat a few revolts, so maybe I shouldn't be not paying my units. Sure enough, I could be sending some insults, especially to the likes of Timmy. I just hope I have the free diplomats for this, right? He does scorn for one. Forget the elderberry stuff. I do believe Timurids should be destroyed, so eat that. Why is your army not 100% elephants, Jake? Uh, sadly enough, I don't have enough cavalry what's its. What, what is the word I'm looking for? Infantry to cavalry ratio. It's not ideal currently. Hang on, this is 8 12 for. But this is 12 8. 8 12 4 seems better. Okay. But when do Ming get to enjoy their disaster? Also, I do count for that disaster, right? I hope it's. Uh, Hope it will check for me and not just these hordes. Haishi went kingdom? Oh, why must you disgust me so? Fire four of the Merc infantry and hire four new horses. I like to be able to visibly tell that these are my uh, are my cannons. Helps me out ever so. So Marathas, they wish to rise up, which means they are around here, right? Yes, yes they are. Please go and dispatch them. Unless all those cores were enough to make them think again. <laughs> almost. The Manipuris wish to rise up too. They're in for a world of pain. Ah, level 3 uh, advisor at half price is very much what I want right now. Or was it was you, right? Yeah. Although unrest guy is kind of tempting too, this will do. Now you should actually be able to keep all this under wraps if I suppress the rebels, get you in place first. And I tell you, just let's not have revolts around here. Is that gonna is that gonna work out for me? I think it is. Not a lot I can do for the other ones though. Now these guys are uh, too muckle for me. If they want to try and rise up, more power to them. Is it possible to jump somewhere instead of bulldozing through big nations yet, Jake? I'm sure there's a weak, small nation in Q8. Can't quite get around Africa yet. The international book market. Paper 
becomes more worthwhile. That's good news, I guess, if I ever find some paper. Uh, I should I should almost certainly be a uh, great power right now, but lack of colonialism is hurting me badly. 85, I'll stop being a great power too. Tragic. All right, Malwa's got to go down. I would love to trash Ming, though, but Ming allied Vijayanagar, how could I be so betrayed? Oh! Their malevolent ruler does not want to join in a war against me. That's quite nice. Protestant League is a go-go, and Malwa a war in three years. I think I'd trash the remains of Malwa, burn it to the ground. Some areas I want to keep for myself, like uh, like this one. Actually, it's a pretty nice one. Do I really want it, though? The trouble is, you have increased core creation cost on some of it. Tricky. Very tricky. I don't want to pay such over-odds here, though, even on dip stuff. Curse these high costs. Ah, but Malwa is bringing the institution to me. That's very nice of him. It's growing super fast in his lands. And those lands will soon be my lands. Go for humiliate and money, Jake, and nothing else from Ming. He's garbage. Ah, Ming do need to die. I'm not super happy about that coalition that he's formed against me. I'm also not happy that I have all these automats that, you know, could be improving relations with these people. And I guess they, they tried. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I already nabbed Ayutthaya. And Lana is done. And you're done. Yeah, a lot of these guys I've already tried to improve relations with as much as I can. But some are lost causes, dare I say. It's not a huge coalition, but it will get bigger sooner rather than later. In the olden days, banks with the OPM native tribes, as I recall, it didn't give uh, inflation way back when. Then it gave inflation, and then they spent their money a bit more, and uh, now you can only take so much. You can thank me on that one. He is going for Laza. What a beast. Looks like he's going to get it done, too. He doesn't get all the bonai though. Shame for him. Right, Marak U decided they don't like me enough. Well, bring it on. You will still be destroyed. Yeah, man, I don't, I don't want them to to take that. All oh, right, I didn't uh, didn't state it up. Oh well, no biggie. We'll just take it. It's jungle, so I don't fight so well, but they are pathetic rebels, so they die anyway. I was really hoping that Hormoz would send me some information, but they decided against it. Will you uh, improve relations with the Africans? Well, I would improve with Mogadishu, because I love them. Do they have anything that I want, though? They do. They know about colonialism. Should hope so, 81 years after it started. Gujarat's going to take on Malwa. They have the uh, the gall to do so. Gujarat are allied with Timmy, so Timmy would likely get involved. That's a shame for me. That's a real shame for me. Oh well, what am I going to do? <laughs> Just sit back and watch. The worst they can do is take that. No, Timmy gets involved. He could well take Delhi. This province is safe. It's covered by the fort there. Still running and kill him though. Actually, I'll make it fast so I can deal with the Manipur guys when they rise up. Can I warn Gujarat? Yes I can, but they're gonna call in Timmy anyway. And uh, do I want to deal with Timmy? The answer is no. And he did call in Timmy. No surprise there. It's a bit of a shame. I wanted to jump on you ASAP, but uh, we'll see. Maybe it takes them so long that they're not able to jump on Delhi and the likes. I can 
try. I can try. No access. Well, Hormoz can have access, sure. There are, so Hormoz were also allied to Malwa. They're feeling more and more like an ally that I should not have. Because they're getting... Uh, they're not giving me anything. And they might call me into horrible wars, so I'll just tell them to go away. Surely there's something you can do with all those French diplomats. I mean, I could make claims on Malwa, sure. Uh, I'm not very good at... I don't have very good opportunities for improving relations. That much is true. Unless I really wanted a friend like the Ottomans or Russia, but... I certainly don't want Russia as a friend. Can we see another campaign with Matt Kevdeb's got, uh, talking a mile a minute today? We will probably not get another battle, Pope, despite what you want. We will, however, have less naval attrition. I'm sure everyone was needing that. There we go. I knew Manipur couldn't, uh, couldn't stop themselves from rising up. They tried, they failed. Tangu guys also want to rise up, though. In Dehong? No, I'm looking at Mong Mao. Just a bunch of people want to rise up here. Can't you just, you know, take care of any and all who want to rise up here? That'll do me a favor. The rest of us will deal with the upstart Malwa. I'd have to disturb the truces here to stop them joining in coalitions against me. But all in due time. I'm off all the heavies since I don't need them right now. Huh. Gujarat not currently doing so hot. The Hong rises up, but they will be shot right down. And I actually want that manpower. Manpower doesn't rise as fast as it should for me. What's your next campaign going to be, says Naffle. I'm going to put it up to vote, but one thing I've really been wanting to do is a pirate nation as Naxus. I don't know how that start's going to work, but I really want to play as them. I'm sorely tempted to do this. Form the Kingdom of Nagpur. I want to see what their missions and their uh, ideas are, because I haven't taken a proper look at them. Pretty sure I would downgrade how cool my elephants look, but I'm, I'm fairly certain I could mod that back in too. Get a lot of nice claims too. And East Barar would become my new capital. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Don't downgrade the elephants, says Cuddlefishman. I will find a way to mod them back in as they should be. But I've come about as far as I think I'll get here. Uh, I'm not going to take this land off of Vigi. I'm not going to have all these subjects, and even so. Uh, ooh, hmm. Uh, you tempt me, but I'm not not going to be going down here, even though the bonuses are super nice. And I'm not going to go down into Southeast Asia further. I will, however, take my 15% morale of armies. Don't mind me for that one. And then let's see what Nagpur has for us. Dangerously similar to Mawar. So maybe I won't keep them around as a, uh, as a march. And let's try our new traditions and ambitions. Whoa, what? 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 Okay, good. I'm still step nomads. That scared the bejesus out of me. Still step nomads. Whew. Too close for comfort, I'm telling you. Okay, what do we get? Show me my missions. Oh, they're the same. I thought uh, I thought they would have gotten different missions, but I guess I was wrong. How about the ideas? Uh, unrest, maneuver, construction cost, army tradition. 15% morale, 15% aggressive expansion reduction. Uh, shock damage, mm -hmm, unjustified demands, leaders of upkeep. I think the old ideas were a bit better, but I'll take it. At least I got to see, damn, that was that was scary. Thought I'd gone full uh, non-horde there. And now that I am a new nation, these people don't understand me and are getting out of this coalition. 
Of course, I strongly suspect they'll join back in when they understand who I No, Ming can't! Ming don't have the aggressive expansion to join in against me. Yes. Oh, but I'm no longer a great power. Well, I mean, it's give and take there. I'll take it. I will take it. Those elephants really are naked. Yeah, I'll probably mod them in to be considerably less naked. But now I can't have Moara around because our colors are way too similar. It's not a lot for breaking truce on you, Malwa, but not yet. All in due time. Yeah, the horrific uh, situation with institutions is keeping me from being the great power I deserve to be. But we're growing it ever so slowly right here. And not so slowly here in Thana. Uh, can you form Bahrat later and grab their elephants? It looks like I'm done on the uh, forming of nations here for now. And we're still Garjati, so we're still Garbo uh, culture. But our capital moved, right? Here it is. Moved over to Nagpur, considerably better province. I'll take it. Oh man, the Admiral's dead. He helped out our navy so much. Although, oddly enough, you guys are pretty banged up. It's looking good for declaring war on Malwa soon. I will nab Delhi. Hell, I will nab a lot more than just Delhi. Truce is up, you say? That, that's strange, because this doesn't agree. One thing that's really on the fix list is stop this from not working. Hormoz will join against us, that's a damn shame, but this will be our tribal conquest. We will take and we will burn, and I'm so glad I'll be the first to Delhi. So don't mind me. I'm taking it all. Now, unfortunately, Gujarat's already on that. I'll take central Doab in that case, and I will also grab the lands around that so he doesn't get all cocky about it. My subject should help out, and the enemy shouldn't have too much of an army for me to worry about. Okay, nice. Forming a new nation still breaks the uh, unrest. I didn't think so, but now I know. I never thought about it, but is there a reason for not having bots, or is that just Jake thing? So for the longest time I was really against having bots. Now I actually want them, but I want them to do specific things that I don't know how to make them do. Uh, and I didn't look more into it because Bane... Bane Williams said that he would sort out all my bot... Whoa, what? What a, what a way to go. Uh, Bane Williams said he'd sort out my bot woes, and then he disappeared off the face of the earth, so... I'm troubled by that. Great, look at all this lands with colonialism. They're for me to gobble right up. I just need to hold out on the, uh, the points here. Extreme Monsoon? What a shame, Barar. The anti-bot lobby got to him first. Poor Bane. Tried his best. Hopefully I can get loads of favours with Vijay and pummel them into trust so that they never uh, uh, rival me. Because if he rivaled me I'd be in a pretty bad state. There we go. Doab down. Which means you guys probably shouldn't have to take such a weird route. Now what else can you do if I can just cut... Uh, Timmy off from your lands and then I'd be doing myself one muckle favor you could have the bots use whispers if you don't want to clutter the chat people obviously use BTTV da 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 yeah I, I want them to be able to whisper me stuff but also whisper to the uh, the chatters for example a lot of people uh, ask for uptime and I wouldn't have a problem with that if there was a bot that just whispered it to them but if there's not, then it just becomes spam, and I hate spam. Not spam booker, though. That's a different thing altogether. 